Hey guys, Coach Travis, and this is our weekly breakdown for programming. Before we get started there, I just want to say how proud I am of all of you guys for the effort you put in for the seating workouts for Duality. Incredible effort that you guys put uh, put forward the last week or so. Um, watching all of you just really push yourselves to get as good as you can with these workouts was, was truly inspiring, uh, especially last weekend when we did our comp prep. Just so excited to, uh, to see the progress that you guys have been making. And I cannot wait to see you guys compete at Duality. Keep in mind, you can do these workouts, so these additional pieces, any day of the week. Uh, kind of go off of what your body is feeling like. Um, if you feel really smoked from the workout and feel like you want to shift things a day or two, that's perfectly fine. The whole goal is to just make sure that we get all this programming done um, throughout the week. And especially try to you know, minimize skipping because each of these has a progression that we're building in. Try to make sure that you're not missing any days because that can make it a huge leap from one week to the next versus having that step-by-step -step progression. So getting into day one, we've got a continuation of our toes to bar uh, improvement cycle that we're working on here. We've got a ten, uh, ten, two rounds of 10 kip swings, and then that's going into a 10 minute EMOM this time of, again, seven reps like we have been the last couple of weeks, but for that first part, we're gonna do three reps of the progression that you're working to achieve. Once you've completed the three reps of that next progression, you're gonna finish with four reps of your current progression. So if I'm working on trying to get consistent straight leg raises, I'm gonna do three straight leg raises to the best of my ability, and then finish that, that minute of the EMOM with four reps of the hanging knee raise. Getting into day two, we've got a fun little wad. It's a 10 minute AMRAP of handstand walking into bear hug walking lunges. And the way we wanna set this up is almost like if it were competition style. And the reason for that is to get you comfortable with kicking back up into that handstand walk as quickly as you can versus standing around waiting, really like shortening the rest time so that you get more time on your hands under a little bit of a time domain. So we're gonna do three mat lengths of a handstand walk down. We're gonna pick up our sand ball and we're gonna walking lunge back to the starting point. Now, from there, your best bet is gonna be then to walk to the other side of the mat, handstand walk to your ball or your sandbag, pick that back up, walking lunge back. So the break time that you're gonna get, it's a very short bit of that walk from the, the ending point back to your, your implement that you're carrying. With these, try to make sure you're, you're keeping the ball hugged tight to the body, don't let it pull you forward, try to keep that torso tall and make sure we're getting the knee to the ground on every one of those walking lunges. Getting into day three, we've got a nine minute EMOM of our GHDs. We've expanded that rep scheme. Instead of six to eight, now we're looking at six to 10. So if you've really been pushing the volume there, try to hit that 10 rep mark for every set. If you're still working on your GHD journey, try to push that full range of motion if you still haven't quite gotten it yet um, and stick with a lower rep scheme, six to eight, so to say. But the goal again is to increase that range of motion. And if you've gotten full range, your goal is now to increase volume. And then getting into our fourth day, we've got now four sets of our banded work and we've also bumped up the volume on those. So four sets of 20 reps of band assisted pull-ups and chin-ups. We're gonna alternate. So we've done pull-ups with that pronated grip. Now we're gonna work on the chin-up we, and we worked on chin-ups. So now we're gonna do both of those for four sets. The volume has gone up. So again, the goal is to increase the volume, work on that conditioning for the arms and the lats, just to be able to hang on to the rig, keep pulling and get a lot of blood pumped into your, uh, your arms and your lats. Again, raising the conditioning and the ability for you to hang on to the rig with big volume sets. Really proud of you guys for the effort you put in so far, watching you guys work on things, um, you know, kind of pushing yourself outside of your comfort zone has been really, really inspiring. And I'm, I've just have had a blast watching you guys grow. And I can't wait to see you continue to improve as you put in that extra work. Hope you guys have a wonderful week and we'll see you out there.